I'm glad we're talking about deleting old data because there's probably a few Facebook posts from 10 years ago I'd rather get rid of. Here's the question that came in, literally came in today on a Twitter DM. We need to regularly delete the data in our table that is more than two weeks old. I watched an office hours webinar showing lots of different recommendations. Can you please advise on the best method out of all those methods? And my simple answer to that is no. If there was just a best method, then that would be the only method we, we would have in the Oracle database. We would simply take away all the others. And there is no best method. There are only methods that you should scientifically know how to apply and make decisions on. So just a very, like within two minutes, hopefully, just to give you an idea of the mindset you wanna be tackling when it comes to deleting. You'll see on a million blogs out there saying, if you need to archive off data, then delete is the slowest and worst option. Well, that might be true, but if, you need, if your definition of de deleting two weeks of data is 1% of your entire table, if two weeks of data is, is some tiny portion, rest assured, delete is the absolute best option because anything else is probably gonna be far more inefficient. If you just have a tiny percentage of data to remove, delete's probably your way to go. Conversely, if deleting two weeks of data is the vast majority of your table, well, yeah, delete probably is the slowest and worst option. Does that mean you immediately discount it? No, because it might be the worst option, but it might not be. What if I've got triggers on this table that has to capture every single DML for say security or audit reasons? Well, you don't want to be doing truncate on that because suddenly you've broken your audit system. You might need your triggers to fire. Even though that's going to make it breathtakingly slow, you might have a compliance reason that says, yep, those triggers need to fire, which means you're stuck with delete. You might need to guarantee read consistency. Maybe while you're doing your archival process, you need everyone else to be able to still run queries against your data. You probably might want to do this, therefore, in a single transaction or other online facilities. So maybe you do need to do a delete, even though you'd rather not. But in a simple terms, if deleting a tiny amount means, yes, I can use delete option. If I'm deleting a huge amount means I don't use the delete option. That means somewhere in the middle, there's some sort of sweet spot. There's some sort of threshold which I would still use delete and therefore, and, or not consider other options. So maybe it's exactly half the table. Maybe it's something else. Even that is a dramatically moving line in the sand because what if you've got dozens and dozens of indexes? Maybe that makes the deletes prohibitively slow. Maybe it's quicker to archive some other way and then rebuild those indexes. What if you've got a foreign key? What if it's a parent? Maybe delete you have to use because you've got issues with dealing with the child table and keeping it transactional. Maybe it takes trunk out off the table. Maybe it takes some other DDL options off the table. Maybe it's reference partition and therefore things like truncate at a partition level go back on the table. Lots of options, you need to explore what your particular scenarios are. Your options very, very briefly. Delete is definitely an option, but look at the percentage of the volume. Look at the indexes in use, whether you can use indexes, you don't want to scan the whole table, but also look at the indexes you need to retain or potentially rebuild at the end of that exercise. Do you need triggers? Do you have foreign keys involved? Do you have constraints that you want to keep active or do you have the opportunity of disabling them and then enabling them later? Lots of options here when it comes to delete. Other options you can consider are having a temporary table. Copy the data you want to keep into a temporary table, truncate your main table, load the data back in. That involves generally an outage. Can you take an outage? Do you have the spare space to do that? Do you have opportunities to do logging or no logging options? If your database is set to forced logging, then maybe this operation is not going to be useful for you because you have to do a lot of logging anyway. Forced logging might be in play if you're using, say, DataGuard. How many indexes and triggers and foreign keys, et cetera, do you have? Because they'll all need to be potentially turned off and then reinstated at the end of it. That overall turnaround time might actually cost you more in terms of outage than the delete. These are things you need to do in your test environment. What about parallelism? Maybe you can do things like deletes or DML or even archiving off with say, you know, create table or select in parallel. It's a great way of supercharging the performance here, but Parallel operations generally lock the data entirely, unlike other operations which leave it online. It's going to burn this hole in your server. Do you have the CPUs available to actually run parallel without impacting other parts of your business? The same issues with indexes, etc. apply. How frequent is it? Is it a one-off thing? If it's just a one-off thing, 
maybe just run the delete, who cares? Yeah, it might run 10 hours, 12 hours, whatever. Maybe that's fine if it's just a one-off thing. If it's not, do you want to do this regularly? Then look at other options which might make it faster next time. Maybe this table should be partitioned. Maybe I don't need to archive the data at all. Maybe I just need to flag it as being eligible for removal and keep it somewhere. That way I have a less expensive option and maybe just use a view to hide it from view or use the Oracle row archival facilities to do something similar. I just wanted to stress all those things because there's no best method. There's heaps of methods, each one which will be the best for particular circumstances. Cannot stress that enough. Probably my current first choice. So when someone says, I need to get rid of some data, what would you start with? What would be the first thing I would test to see if it's gonna suit my needs? It's probably related to petitioning. Now I say related to petitioning because I think we probably made a mistake here at Oracle. In 12.2, we said, look at this amazing facility now where you can convert a table that's non-partitioned to a partition table online, as well as just keeping some of the rows. And we made a huge fuss about this. Take any non-partition table, make a partition, do it online. How cool are we? The problem is, as a result, we didn't really spend a lot of time telling you that it wasn't just about converting to partition tables. It was actually for all tables. You can do this as well. Nothing to do with partitioning. I can take any heap table and say, I want to move it. I want to do it online. And I want to only keep these following rows. It's a great way of archiving off a subset or deleting a subset. This is probably my current first option, my first port of call, because it's DDL, it's online, it's very, very simple to do. And effectively, all in the management in terms of indexing, foreign keys, all that kind of stuff is looked after for me. If some, there are some restrictions as to when you can or cannot use this, and therefore, if it fails, then I look at other options. But this is probably my first choice. The syntax is simple, it just works, and hopefully it's, you know, you, let's not call it best, but let's call it the simplest way forward, and you use this until maybe some other option or something stops you from doing it. So hopefully that explains the options that were there and probably where I would start before pursuing other options.